Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing last contact with an ex analysis. I provide audio coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details www.dateme.tips Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast and today we are discussing last contact with an ex analysis. If you have gone through a breakup it's very common to think back to the last time that you communicated with your ex. Are there clues as to what the future holds for you and for them? In today's podcast, I'm going to analyse three examples of last contact between former partners and give my opinion as to what the future might hold in each instance. Of course, it's important for me to say that there is no 100% guaranteed way for me to know for certain how things will develop in the future, but I can give a likely outcome in each instance. Please listen to all three examples and let me know in the YouTube comments if your situation is similar to any of the examples. So let's get straight into this. And number one is me and my ex got into a huge argument and they dumped me. We both said cruel things to each other and then they blocked me. So if you are in a situation where you have been blocked, you must respect the blocking. You have no option. If you try and cheat the blocking by maybe finding a platform that you haven't been blocked on to send a message, then this is not going to help you. If you have been blocked on one platform, you need to see it as if you've been blocked on every platform. And additional to that, you've got to really look at it as but you have been blocked from life. You know, you can't go knocking on their door if they've blocked you on a messaging app. This is not going to help you. Unfortunately, I've known people who have tried to cheat a blocking in this way. They have tried to find a way to communicate with their ex after they were blocked on one platform. In instances where somebody has tried to cheat a blocking, what often happens is the person who has blocked them will contact the authorities. You've got to understand that if you have been blocked, that means that that person doesn't want to speak with you. And if they don't want to speak with you and you still try to get in contact, that can be seen as stalking. And if you get into a position where somebody reports you for such an accusation, this can be very serious indeed. If you have been blocked, you have no choice but to respect the blocking and move forward with your life. So when I look at a situation such as this in point number one, I have to consider all of the facts. So in this instance, there was a huge argument, the person was dumped and then they were blocked. This was on the basis, it seems, of a huge argument. Therefore, it was done in the heat of the moment. When something is done in the heat of the moment, there is more chance that this in the future could be rectified, that this could be changed, because it wasn't something that the dumper thought about somewhat. This was an instantaneous reaction. There is every opportunity that after they have calmed down, after they've thought things through, they might unblock their dumpee. Now, of course, this can't be guaranteed and this could take a long time. This doesn't necessarily mean they are going to do it the following day. When I say they need to calm down, it could take weeks or months. I don't, of course, know what exactly this argument was about. I don't know what the basis was to this situation. But if somebody's blocked in the heat of the moment, there is more chance that they will be unblocked in the future in comparison to somebody who has blocked someone after thinking about it calmly and thoroughly throughout a long period. If you have been blocked and you don't understand why, you have no clue about what you have done, then unfortunately there is less chance 
of you being unblocked in the future because this suggests this has been something that the dumper has thought about thoroughly. And if somebody thinks about something thoroughly, they are more likely to stick with this action. So what could happen in the future in this instance in point number one? Well, what I would suggest is that the dumpy moves forward with their life. There is every chance in the future they might be unblocked, but this isn't something that they can test out. They will only know for certain if and when they hear from their ex again, because that, of course, would suggest that their dumper would like to speak with them. Do I think there is an opportunity for these two people to reconcile? Yes, I do. I know of many instances where somebody has been blocked and then has been unblocked in the future, and then their dumper has actually reached out to them once more. So there is every chance that there could be a reconciliation. But we have to look at everything as it is right now. And currently, the dumpy has been blocked. And there is no guarantee that they will ever be unblocked in the future. This is an additional challenge to trying to get your ex back. Not only have you been dumped, but you have been blocked. There is an extra step in this procedure. And therefore, the chances of success are smaller. We have to acknowledge that. We have to respect the fact that if you've been blocked, for whatever reason that might be, your chances of getting your ex back are slimmer than if you haven't been blocked. So is it possible that these two people could reconnect in the future? Yes, it is. Is it likely? Well, it's probably less than 50% likely because of how things look right now. But Dumpy must move forward with their life. They must make new connections. And if and when they hear from their ex again, they can take things from there at that moment. I believe that at this present moment, the Dumper is likely experiencing the honeymoon period of being single and really focusing on making new connections themselves. I believe that they will reflect on what they have done. But this might not be for a while if and when they make new connections. If they make new connections, then this is something which is going to take away the thoughts of their ex and the fact that they blocked them. If and when they do reflect one day, this is when there is a greater opportunity of them deciding to unblock their ex. So I would suggest that at the moment, Badumpa is going through the honeymoon period of being single, living the life that they want to live, not overly thinking about their ex right now, and the dumpy is going to be struggling at the moment, but their only chance of reconciliation is to move forward and to become a better version of themselves. It's also important to really think back to that argument that caused all of this and consider, is there anything you could have done better? Is there anything you could have done differently? Because if you get into the situation again, this needs to be navigated more effectively. So now let's get into point number two of today's podcast and the second example of last contact with an ex. But I'm going to analyse. And point number two is I last heard from my ex fairly recently. It was in response to something I text them. They reply most of the time, but always keep it brief. They dumped me a few months ago and since then they don't send the first text. So in this instance, this would suggest that the dumper is being polite. It's possible that they're feeling some pity towards their ex. And even though at first glance, this might seem good, this might seem positive, there is interaction between both dumper and dumpy. What I can see from this is that it is all one-way traffic. The dumpy is periodically messaging their dumper and it seems that quite often they get a short response back. That would suggest that the dumper is just being polite, the dumper is being respectful, but the dumper does not have any romantic feelings for their dumpy at this time. The only opportunity the dumpy will have of one day reconciling is to implement my version of a no contact rule ASAP. If you want to learn more about my version of a no contact rule, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please ring the bell for notifications and check out my playlist entitled The No Contact Rule. If a dumpy persists in this way, there is every chance that they might be blocked in a similar respect to what happened in point number one. Although in this instance, the difference would be it wouldn't be on the back of an argument. It would just be that they've really worn their ex down to the point of frustration where the dumper will block the dumpy and probably will be less likely 
to unblock them because from what I can see here, as time moves on, the Dumper is showing less and less interest to the Dumpy. They're never reaching out. And this isn't a good sign for trying to reconcile. The Dumper does not feel enough romantic emotional attraction for their Dumpy, and therefore they will never, in this present state of mind, want to reconnect. The Dumpy is coming across as very low value and somebody who is not worth the Dumper's time in a romantic relationship. If a Dumpy wants to try to get their ex back, as I said, implement my version of a no contact rule and always believe that you can find better. You shouldn't be just focused on one person and you must understand that if you do everything right, then you can either get your ex back or find somebody even better. Don't keep pushing your ex on a pedestal here because if you do, they are less likely to want to reconnect. The scales of value need to be very similar for a successful relationship to take place. And at the moment, in this instance in point number two, the dumpy is very low value and the dumper is very high value. The dumper is being polite, but they are not interested in their ex. If they was, then they would be reaching out to their dumpy and not just sending short responses every so often when they get a message. So now let's move into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about last contact with an ex. And point number three is my ex dumped me and I begged and pleaded. I continued to reach out periodically for a few months, but never heard anything back. I don't think I'm blocked, but I can't be certain. So in this classic example, we see a situation where a dumpy will not stop begging, they won't stop pleading, they won't stop reasoning, they won't give up on the relationship. And at first glance, you might think, well, why should I give up on a relationship? I don't want to give up on a relationship. If I give up on the relationship, then I've clearly lost. Well, here's the thing. If you want to try to get your ex back, you need to give up the relationship because that relationship, unfortunately, is dead. That relationship is dead. If you get your ex back, you will grow a new relationship built on stronger foundations. You can't hold on to something which has already died. And unfortunately, this relationship has gone. Okay, you can't hold on to something that has gone. Your ex Badompa has very low, if any, romantic emotional attraction for you left right now. And the more you reach out, the more likely it is that you will eventually be blocked. And again, as I was mentioning earlier on in today's podcast, that will add an extra layer of challenge, which sometimes is never, ever got by. So you don't want to put yourself in this position. You need to be implementing my version of a no contact rule. You need to be moving forward with your life and you need to understand what you have done wrong in this instance. Now, I don't know why the breakup happened. So when I say what you have done wrong, I'm talking post breakup because you are coming across as somebody who is very needy, possibly possessive, possibly jealous. I don't know for certain of those ones, but certainly very, very needy, very, very low value and a person who is not only not going to get their ex back, but you're not going to find anybody better either if you behave in this way. If you want to try and attract somebody, you need to be a high value individual. You need to be happy, carefree and fun, not needy, possessive or jealous. You can't be somebody who showcases negative traits. This is not attractive to anyone. So you need to dust yourself down. You need to really take stock of where you are. You need to consider if you want to get professional help, possibly counselling to help you through this difficult time because you need to understand that you can't behave in this way, not only with your ex, but with anybody. If you do the right things, you will either get your ex back or find somebody even better. If you do the wrong things, then you will be alone because nobody owes you a relationship. Your ex doesn't owe you a relationship. Somebody new doesn't owe you a relationship. It's very important we take accountability and understand what we can do to be a better person every single day. And for you, in this instance, point number three, what I would say is that you need to make sure that you never contact your ex again unless they contact you first. You need to really start to grow your value, your self-belief, your confidence and your self-esteem 
by doing the right things and moving forward with positivity. I have plenty of podcasts on my YouTube channel which describe how you can become more attractive. I've got a playlist about growing attraction, about what you can do to present yourself in the best possible way. Unfortunately, if you continue in this way, you will either be blocked or your ex will just look at the message that you send and just never reply. They might go down that route if they don't want to actually block you but you will never hear from them again. It's very, very unlikely that a dumper will reconnect with a dumpy when the dumpy behaves in this low-value way. From what you have said, you've reached out periodically for a few months. So every so often, it seems like you just get that urge, but you can't stop. You send a message and you get nothing back. This is a sign. If somebody doesn't reply to you, it's either because they can't or that they don't want to. If you've been trying this periodically for a few months, I can tell you that the likelihood is that it's that they don't want to, okay? They don't want to, and you must respect this decision. You've already told me that you were dumped, so clearly that they made the decision that they didn't want you as part of their connection. They didn't want to be part of a relationship with you, sadly. So that was their decision, and they are now speaking loud and clear with their silence of not responding to you when you reach out. Please make sure that you never contact your ex again unless they contact you first. It's been a few months and I would say it's unlikely that they have connected with anybody new right now. There is still a chance that if you do everything right, you may be able to grow enough intrigue, enough romantic emotional attraction in your ex's mind for them to want to reach out to you before they meet the next love of their life. Because if you keep pushing them this way, you are going to push them into a relationship with somebody else, with somebody new, with somebody who isn't you. The more you chase, the more you chase somebody away. So I highly suggest you never contact your ex again unless your ex contacts you first. Move forward with positivity, go through self-improvement and make new connections. So I hope you've enjoyed today's podcast. I hope this has helped you understand my thoughts and feelings on these three examples of last contact with an ex and what it might mean for the future. If you move forward with positivity and do the right things, you stand an excellent chance of either getting your ex back or finding somebody even better. And ultimately, all that matters is you finding happiness. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach, uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips, go and check the site, uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back, or move to the next. Ain't no sweat, you know, Vincent Bo got you finding love, ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips, check it out now.